But Adam Chair. Enjoy. You're good. Good to go. In an hour. All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. So this class, like I said, why I like this class so much because it's almost the weekend. Well, good morning, everyone. Good to see. Well, you can see me. The discussion we were just having, those of you that saw, was just about asking if you'd like to turn your screen on. Don't believe anything's being recorded just so that we can talk to each other or we can see or communicate. But again, it is your choice. So my name is Adam, in case it's your first time, but I don't believe so. Grab some lightweights, grab some heavyweights. Remember, the whole point of this class is just to move your entire body. So in the beginning, we start to warm up. Then we add some light cardio with weights. Then we get into full body movements. And then we start targeting each individual movement. And then we end in abs. That's essentially the entire class. Uh, so go ahead and grab your light weights. Why not warm up with them? And let's get started. 10 seconds, grab those light weights. Come on back. And we have eight and seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab those light weights. So if you watch what I'm doing here, all I'm doing is just lifting my heels. Your calves, the back of your legs are pumps for blood flow to bring it back up to your heart. All right, now you're using your hands almost like we're running in place. You're here, 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 breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, very light, right? We can all do this. Get ready to reach for the ceiling. In four, in three, in two. All right, take those arms right up. So now you're just tapping, tapping your toe, reaching up to the ceiling. If you have a fitness tracker on, don't forget to turn it on. How about that? And we reach, and we reach, and we reach. Good, eight more, in eight. And seven and six. Come on, fitness tracker. And five and four. Good. And three and two. Last one. Take them to the front. But now sink down. You've been doing these for a while. You're setting up lunges. You're engaging your core. You're look, look how far I'm stepping back. Now I reach forward, same side. And we got eight. Let's turn it up a little bit. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, all right, take that arm down to your knees. So look what I'm doing. Again, from the side, knees behind your toes. I'm waking up my hips, seeing how my lower spine feels today. Good, sink side to side, side to side. Last eight, seven, six. These are tests. These are tests to see how your knees, ankles, hips, Back, head is feeling. Three, two, one, right in the center. Notice I stop at my knees. Knees, 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 and up. Knees, 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 and up. Good, good, good. Keep it going. Same. So again, from the side, knees behind your toes. Don't let this happen where your knees go in front. Find that good form. Seven, six, five, four, three. Start back from the very beginning. Up, up, up. So level one, again, was just your heels coming off the floor. Level two, now I'm starting to pick my toes up. Not bad, right? Five, four, three, two, one, back up. Now, we're just tapping your toe, level one, two heels and toes come together. Same side, same side, good. The whole point, it's getting you to think, to use your body like an athlete, Moving the same side at the same time. Good, good. Getting your heart rate up. Well, that's a side effect. In eight, seven, six, five, four. Let's keep our arms up in three and two and one. Standing abs, use your balance. Let's focus on one side. Little movement. Look how tiny this is. Two, bend your knees and take it up even higher. Again, focusing on using that same side. Last four, last three. We're going to switch in two. And one, turn right over, other side. Good, you see how low I can stay? Level one, level two, that's it. So easy, right? Four, three, just tell yourself it's easy. Two, and one, back down, reach forward, stepping side to side. One, 
Let's just jump into three. Look at this. Wood choppers side to side. We've been adding these these past weeks. Good. We've been adding wood choppers these past weeks. There we go. That's what I meant to say. Sink side to side, outside of your hips. Watch your knees. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Plant those feet. One is just knees. Maybe that's all you're going to do today. Two, can you come down further? Ankles, shins, ankles. Look how low. Knees behind my toes. Sink it down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Can you touch the floor? Down and up. Down and up. Well, how close can you get? Good. From the front, all the way down. Last eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, back up. All right, dropping your hands. Level one, just those heels. Level two, picking your toes up. Level three, higher knees. Good. Up to you. One is down here. Two, three. Oh, good luck. Ten seconds. In ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it back to the ceiling. One, I'm tapping my toe. Two, heels and toes come together. And if anybody wants a three, that's both arms up, up to you. Again, one, two, three. See how we slowly kick them up? A few, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back down, reach forward. Good, side to side, four. Add those wood choppers. You see how we kick this up? One, keeping your arms up. Two, side to side. Good. You know your body best. You have to think. You can remember some of these movements. If you find something you don't like to do, that's perfectly fine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Take them back up. Aim for your knees, side to side. How about shins, level two? How about floor, level three? How about arms, twist, 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 twist. Nice. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Aim right in the center. Down and up. Down and up. Get lower. Down. Good. Last eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Are your knees staying behind your toes? Are you touching the floor? Last three. Last two. Last one. Hold it down. Run your heels. Now step out a little bit wider. Good. So this would be hip width apart. This is almost a plie. Can you stand out wide? Take those arms up. Speed back from the side. Wide football runs, <clears throat> hands up, speed back. And now it's up to you how fast you want to take this. I can't tell, I can't see you. You go to your speed deck. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down, reaching forward. Good. Use your core, twist your shoulders. Only you can police yourself. Make sure you're reaching forward. Wake up your core. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, reach over your shoulders, twist them, hook, 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 twist, up, 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 nice, and eight, seven, six, you're going to have two options here, in four, and three, and two, just watch me, turn to the side of your room, it's a lunge, if you were in a PA, you stepped out wider than hip width apart, look, I pivoted on my toes, can you sink down into your lunge? I snuck in a lunge. I wanted to see better foot placement. This isn't a lunge. I've seen this before. One step back, not quite a lunge. Can you take a large step? Now add your arms. I'm down on up from the front. This is what it looks like. I added my arms. My palms are facing forward. Add those shoulders. Get ready for knee tucks. In four, three, not bad. Two, last one. Hold it low, reach forward, bring those knees up. 
Bring those knees up. Nice, nice, nice. Keep it going, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back into the center. Run your legs. Good, 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 good. Keep it going, keep it going. Arms up. Arms up. Add those knee bags. Get ready to do it all over again on the other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set them down. Reach it back to the front. Good. So see my shoulders twist, twist, twist. Use your core that much and twist forward. Good, good, good. You want to go over your shoulder? Seven, six, five, four. Make it bigger. All this did is make our twisting even larger. Side of the room, side of the room. Let's keep moving. Twist, 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 twist. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's hold the other direction. Good. Add those lunges down and go. Make sure it's big. This is too tiny. That's not quite a lunge. Step back real far. Now lunge. Up. Add those arms, feet, seven, six, five, four, three, get ready to hold it, two, take it down, hold it low, bring those arms forward, knee tucks, hold that lunge so you're not way up here and your legs are stepping together, sit your back, try, wherever you're the most comfortable with, up and back, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Not bad. Face the front, run them out of place. Add those arms. Get ready for speed bags. Seven, six. Add your speed bags right here. Get ready for uppercuts. In four, and three, and two. Down, twist. Corners, corners. Sink it down. Come right over. Sink it down. Come right over. Twist. Twist. Nice and low. You're stretching your back here. Now, so us, I'm going to pick it up. You can add that double time. Come right across. Good. And we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hit with the par. Bring those arms back up. Knees behind your toes. Sink back into your chair. Easy squats. Hit with the par. Sink them right down. Let's keep going. Arms up, arms up, arms up. And eight, engaging your core. Then then using those arms and shoulders. Last five, four, three. You're going to alternate your lunges forward. Two and one. Take those arms out to a T. Step forward. Step back. <laughs> Step forward. Good. Keep those arms up. You're alternating your lunges. We're bringing our heart rates down. Good luck. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two more, two more, two, Ooh, and one. Watch these. Take your arms to the front. Focus on one side. Step out, back in, over, under. So it's like your arms are doing a scissor. You're engaging your core. You're sinking to the side. Watch here. Step out, knees behind your toes, and then four more. We're going to switch. Three more. Three, we're gonna switch sides. Two, one more. Good, let's come back up. Switch legs, other way. Keep those arms up. Eight, seven, Woo. six, good job. Keep those arms up, engage your core. Last four. Oh, watch your positioning. Three, two more, two. Last one, great job. Back up, run them out. We're gonna hit all four corners. I'm gonna see, see, see if your head is working. Up, up, down, down. Watch me for the first one. Three, two, one. It looks like up. See my toe? Take it down. You see my toes? They come together. Good. This is tricky. Your legs, your arms, everything is working together. When you're comfortable, you can take it up to tempo. Again, watch where I don't use my legs. I just tap. That can be a downgrade. Up, up, down, down, or crank it up. Heels and toes come together. Heels and toes come together. Good. Last eight, seven, looks like it's gonna rain. Six, five, four, three, 
two, last one, back up, just run those legs. Good, we're gonna be grabbing water. We're gonna be getting our heavy weights. You're gonna be coming right back. Three, two, and one, 10 seconds. So go ahead, grab, grab, grab your heavy weights. <clears throat> grab water while you're at it. Grab water. <clears throat> Good, good, good. All right, five seconds. Let's come on back. And four. And three. So I got the yellow ones. First up is going to be legs. All right, we're going to move right into lunges and some plie. So first up, you're going to take your right leg and step forward. Taking those knees behind your toes, sink down. If you're not lunging, just do those leg lifts. I don't know who's lunging and who's not lunging. So if you've been here before and you want to do leg lifts, feel free. Otherwise, we're all lunging. You take one leg forward. You have your heavy weights. So since we're starting with legs, we're going to add lots of isolations. We're going to hold them real low. We're going to add some upper body. This is going to be a ton of fun. Get ready. In eight. Seven. So you're going to hold them as low as you can in six and five. Biceps and shoulders in four and three. Watch what I mean first. Two and one. Sink it down low. Now hold it. Curl those arms up. Good luck. Seven. Quick sets. Six. Stay down low. Five. That's the work as we're isolating through those legs. We're firing them up. Last four. Last three. Watch these shoulders. In two and one. Stop halfway down. Elbows 90. Fly. Now remember, you're holding this lunge as low as you can. Fly. Eight, seven, six, third set in this lunge. Get ready in four and three. If you don't want to go above your head, you can stay here. Two and one. Rotate. Now push up. Woo. My legs are on fire on this one. Eight, seven, six. If yours aren't, sink down a little bit lower. Maybe lift your front heel, maybe get heavier weights in three and two and one. Come back up, run those heels. Your working recovery is triceps. Two, one, elbows 90, kick them back. Quick set, then we're gonna move into the other leg. And we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come back up. Make sure you switch, switch, switch legs. Step forward into that lunge. Arms get a break, sink it down. Sink it down. Remember what a lunge is. Remember what a lunge is. Knees stay behind your toes. None of this action, that's not a lunge. This is a lunge. Last eight, seven, six, five, Second set of bicep curls in three and two. Now, get low, hold it, bicep curl, all the way up, all the way down. We're gonna do that same three sequences in a row. So you've already done it. Get ready, hold it lower in four. Yes, come on legs. Not only are you firing up your hamstrings, three, two, believe it or not, working on your balance, and one, elbows 90. Hip help. Why? Hip help. Look at this large position in your holding. You're increasing your endurance within your hips. Holding this nice and low. You are sculpting your glute, your hamstrings. Last four. All legs. Three, two, one. Bring them up. Quick set. All the way up. All the way down. Make sure you're low. If you're starting to push yourself back up, sink it down. Last set of eight. Seven, six, Five, almost done. Four, keep it going. Three, keep going. Two, last one. Drop those arms nice and close. Woo, come back up. Run those heels. <clears throat> Tricep, second set. Here we go. In four, kick back. This is your working recovery for your legs. We have eight, seven, six, 
five, four, third set of legs will look like this in three, and two, and one. First up, drop your arms to the side. Let's alternate our lunges forward. Right leg steps forward, big step, down, up, and back. Now switch, switch. Continue alternating from the side. Make sure you're adding that big step forward, knees behind your toes, think it back, switch. All right, keep moving. 30 seconds on the clock. Do as many as you can. 30 seconds on the clock. Good. You're alternating your lunges. Alternating your lunges. Weights along the outside. Let those arms just recover. About 15 more seconds. Good. Very good. Five, eight, seven, six, five. We're going to be squatting after this in four, in three, in two. Last one, one. Back up. Feet are hip width apart. Weight along the outside. Add those squats. Now remember, make sure your knees are behind your toes. It is not this. Sit back. Think about a chair. We're all squatting right now. Think about a chair. How do you sit in a chair? I'm seeing this a lot. Do you sit in a chair like this? Who sits in a chair like this? You sit back into a chair. Is that right? So imagine you're sitting into a chair and that's your squat. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two. Now you're gonna hold it. And one. Come on down. Hold it. Here's your rope. So it should look like you're hovering above a chair, right here. That's where you should be. If you're way up here with your knees in front of your toes, you're doing this number and you're standing upright. This is just bad in your joints and you're not doing movement properly. Make sure you're sinking down into your chair and that you're rowing. Third set of triceps, you said. All right, let's do it. Eight, seven, six. You're going to hold them up and pull in five, and four, and three, and two. Keep them up. Push back. Push back. So hug yourself with your elbows to push those triceps back. Don't let this happen. That's not it. That's just rough on your shoulders. <clears throat> good, good, good. Sink it down low. You find yourself coming up. You're falling out of form. Sink it low, hold it good. There's your triceps pretty arm. In eight, seven. Remember, you're hovering above your chair. Six, five. I've got another one here. In four, since you have such good form, I'm guessing. Three, two, one. Drop those bombs. Fly like a bird. Look, my arms should fall straight down. My knees are behind my toes and waist from the front. You look as such. All right, let's keep going. Fly up. If you're coming up tall and doing it this way, this is shoulders. This is upper back. Remember, your weight, uh, your muscles only work against gravity. Eight, when you have weight, that is. Seven, six, five, four, three, woo, two, and a one. Come back up. Let's work a little bit on that balance thing. Let's pick our favorite leg. All right, you're starting here. So mine will be the right. Level one, tap your toe. This is a break into your arms. So now your legs are going to work. Drop that weight real low. Level two is how high can you go? Level three, watch my leg on the floor. Can you lift your heels up? Ah, good luck. All right, let's kick them up. So we're going to have some fun with this. Well, we're going to try. More kickboxing. You can block with your knee. Watch what I'm doing with my hip. Out and forward. Some of you may do this in bars. I'm sweating, imagine that. I hope you are too. If you're not, well, grab some heavier weights or drink some more water. Good, oh. side to side. So your levels are one, nice and low. Two, try and keep your knees up. Three, shifting your weight from side to side. There's levels four and five if you do bar and that's just straight leg, you might recognize that. Otherwise, eight. Seven, we're still playing with this leg. We're gonna go into a pendulum deadlift, still on your favorite leg. In four, in three, same leg that's in the air. This one is not gonna to touch the floor. We're working the one on the floor. Watch this, you sink back, 
Add your pendulum deadlift, working on your balance, squeeze and come up. You want to see from the side? So this leg is up, pendulum, send it back, come back up. You're balancing on that leg. So a couple options. If you need to come back and stop here, engage your core, and then up. This counts a lot. What doesn't count is you do this, and then you kick your leg back. Work at the same time. Get mobility, sink down, good, and up. Not bad. Good. Woo! And who wants more than that? Anyone do it on their tippy toes? Lift their heel up, try to sink down. <laughs> good luck. Last eight. Seven. Remember, if you want to improve something, you have to challenge it. The secret to fitness and health and however you want to look is to try everything. Try everything. Three. Oh, I don't like biking. Well, if you try to cycle class, imagine the wonders it would do to your body. Think of it that way. Two, I miss cycle. One, come back up. Woo, switch. Breathe, run those heels for a moment. We're going into the other leg. Three, two, one. All right, your second favorite leg. Take your toe, tap, level one. Good. Two things are happening. A, you're improving your balance. You can feel these quads trying to work. Keep your legs up. And three, we're kind of taking a working recovery. It depends. Now, if you can take your leg and kick off to the side, let's go there. Up and over. Up and over. Up and over. Good. Lock the legs. Seven. Six, not bad. Come on, keep them right up. And five, get ready for those pendulums. And four, three, and up, two, oh, keep your balance. Focus on the floor, not around the room like this. And one, pendulum on that leg. The leg stays planted on the floor. The one that you were just using, try to come up. Good. Try it. Even if you come to here and back up, are still working on your balance, your hip health. You may feel it in your ankle on the leg that's planted because it's trying to keep your balance. That's the work. That's the work. Last eight, seven. Come on, take more. Five more. Four more. Keep moving, keep moving. Whoa, three. I'll take a break into those. And two, one more. Whoa, how are those legs? Not bad? Well, let's come back up. See if you can keep these weights. Let's move right into shoulders. All right, bend your knees, engage your core. Here's the first one. You're gonna make a tease. Palms down. This is the easiest one. Up and down. I don't wanna see throwing. Well, remember, I can't see. Police yourself. Don't throw the weights. Come up, hold, and down. That should be the work. If you're just throwing the weights, that's just momentum and gravity. You're not really working hard. Here, holding it, start and stop like a machine that's the work this is better for your form better for your joints rather than just throwing those weights athletic stance bend those knees engage your core if you want to test if you have an athletic stance <laughs> have someone push you if you can keep your balance that's an athletic stance if you topple right over you have bad form and you're locking your legs last four three two one, everyone take them up and hold them. Little pulses, real light, right? Real light, say it's real light. Four, three, two, woo. Down, alternate to the front. Palms down, one at a time. One at a time. Remember, add that start stop in your head so that you know you're not throwing them. Good. Oh. Modifications, maybe you're concerned about your lower back. You can go into an upright row. If you feel like going to the front might bother your back, alternate your upright rows. Otherwise, we're here, taking them forward. Lots of options there. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Good. Nice. Last set of eight. And seven. And six. And five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And one back down. So we're going off to those T's again, but I want you to see this. Instead of palms facing down, facing your hips as you come up, try this one. Palms facing behind you the whole time. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Do not let your arms twist. 
You're keeping your palms, thumbs down, palms facing behind you as you lift. Don't let yourself come up and your palms go down. We're really working on the front portions of your shoulders. So many injuries here. Right now, you are strengthening. This is a wonderful thing for you. This is so preventative. This is here to try to avoid getting any type of rotator cuff injuries, repairs, business. Good. Preventative. Right here. Strengthen through this area. If later on you discover, wow, it's really sore on one side, you may already have it. Good. And up. Oh. Seven. Six. Safety first. Five. Woo. Palms back. Four, the whole time, thumbs down. Three, two more, two more. Two, one more. Can you take them up and hold them? Don't lift your shoulders like earrings. Leave them down. Three, two, one. Woo, that was tough. All right, we're going back to the front. But this time, let's add our legs. Step out into a plie. Big, big, big. Let's focus on one side. Right side only. Knees behind your toes and come up. All right. Full body movements. Love these. Behind and up. So I want you to know this will go into wood choppers. If you want to use one weight, if you want to use both weights, you're here. Good. Now, if any point of this is bothering you and you much rather your shoulders, that is, do an upright row, clean and press. That's an option if you're concerned about your lower back or shoulders. Otherwise, we're here in kettlebell. Get ready for foot chopper. In eight, seven, I don't need no risk. Back four. Come on, three more. Three. Two, one, watch here. I am going to go with one weight, just so you see form. Same side. If you have the weights on the right, bend that right knee, come across to the left. I'm taking the seat belt from across my shoulder and I'm plugging it in on the bottom of my seat. All right, it's a very big seat, okay? Very big seat. That's just in case you've never chopped wood before. Otherwise, sink down and come across your body. If you've never chopped wood before, then put the very large seat belt on. Watch your knees come right across your body. Nice. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, whoo, three. Not bad. Two. Wow. And one. Working recovery. Weights back into the center. Sink it down. Twisty. Come on, core. So standing at. We are warming up abs because it's almost time for them. Sink it down. This is also your working recovery. Seven, six. You can crank this up by lifting your heel. Really working on your balance. Five, four, three, two, one. Sink it down. All right. Kettlebells on the other side. Remember your level. Knees stay behind your toes. You can always, again, if you want to see that from the side. Here's where we are. You're sinking down into your chair. You're coming up. If you'd like the clean and press, Flip, push up. See how much closer the weight stay to my body? Up to you. Otherwise, fly up. Up, uh, what? Get to the next. Eight, seven. Get ready for what? One, six, five. Beautiful. Four. Good for you. And three. Slow it down. No momentum. You shouldn't be throwing anything. You should be this slow where you're in control of it. Two. One more. One, up, wood choppers, other side, sink down, or seat belt. Grab it from behind your head on the edge of the door, plug it in on the other side of a very large chair. And good, 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 good. And hook, and hook, and hook. Nice. Eight, seven, six. Five. We're gonna do some standing legs in four, three, two, one more, and a one. Come back into the center. Let's sink it down. I'll tell you about those legs in just a moment. Working recovery. So level one, you're twisting. Now, if those are too easy for some of us, look at this level three. Sink it down, weight behind your head, standing obliques. Oh, lifting those heels. Good. One, two, three, eight more. Really sculpting into your core. Seven. Whoa, watch the ballet. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Woo. And up. All right. So watch here. 
One tier is we start setting up legs. Those of us standing, we can all try from standing. You're gonna need a flat surface, a chair, such, or you can always come down to the floor and do them in tabletop. Mule kick, fire hydrants, but with the weight behind their knee. Now listen, 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 listen. You have to squeeze your heels to your glutes and stay here. Do not let your leg keep going away or don't take it away in front of your body. None of these are it. Squeeze your heels to your glutes, flex your toes, kick straight back. You wanna know why? If you keep straightening out your legs, if you take them to the front, it could fall down on your toes. So be very mindful, be very careful. You'll take standing, standing hamstrings. This idea is for those of us to work our hamstrings and glutes and perhaps take some of the load and the work off of your knees, ankle, foot problems, I'm only imagining what possibly could be going on with us. I have no idea. Stay at your knees. Good. You saw me going forward. Don't let that happen. So now you check yourself. You stay right here. Come on, hamstrings in four. In four, you're ready for fire hydrants in three, two, and one. Sink them down. Fire hydrant. Off to the side. What does it look like from the side? You're here. You're hinged forward. And all I'm doing is getting right off fire hydrants. Keep your heels lined up with your thighs uh, hamstring. Do not let your knees come up like this, or your heels come above your knees. That is not it. Line them up. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold them up, hold them up, hold them up. Five, four. Three, two, whoo, damn, not bad. Before we change over, wherever you are, let's add a plank. If you're standing, put your hands against the wall, but I challenge you, use the back of your chair, use the bottoms of your chair, use the floor, those of us. Let's add a plank right here. Three, two, one, come on down. We are using our abs. Standing ass, good. Holding, see how I'm running my knees? You can do that to keep your mind interested. Or maybe take them up higher and some mountain climbers. It's only 30 seconds and we got 16 to go. 15. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Step forward. So easy. So, so easy. Let's switch to the other side. We switch legs. Mule kicks. Squeeze your hamstrings to your glutes. Let's kick them back. Here we go. Squeeze, flex, have that good form. Don't drop your weights up. Eight, seven, don't drop those weights. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, 90, fly, 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 fly. Good, keep moving, keep moving. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more, and one. Woo. Remove that weight, let's add our second plank before we officially all go to the floor. Here's a challenge, a weighted plank. Can you bring those weights right between your knees? Come down into your plank, whether you're holding the wall, the chair, the floor, hold it. Good, so you can't run your knees this time, but what you can do is hip it. Dancing planks, take your hips from side to side. Only 30 seconds on the clock, I'm watching the timer. Let's do what you can do. Side to side, side to side, side to side. 15 seconds, almost done here. Or holding the plank for the last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Grab that weight, be very careful not to drop it. All right, let's grab that second water break. We are hitting the floor for just more abs. Good. 
All right. Make sure we're all having water. We're all having water. This is part of class. This is the movement right now. Everyone's having water. Check, check, check. And once you're done there, let's have a seat. Floor. Chair. Wherever you are. Cradle your head. Start adding the scrunches. Sink back. If you're sitting in the chair, crank it up a notch. Add one leg. Those of us flat on the floor, you're down here. And I challenge you, because we already start to warm up as you use both legs. Now, how do you downgrade legs? The higher you take them up, the easier. The lower, the closer to the floor, the harder. So floor, here we are. Feet did. You're ready to switch legs. Three, two, one. Those of us that were in a chair with one leg, switch legs. Final 16 before we go into bicycles. Good. If you're on the floor, you're crunching up both legs. If you're on the chair, you're crunching up one leg. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Hold right into bicycles. Alternate knees, elbows. To knees. All right, bicycles, let's move. Bicycles, bicycles, bicycles. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Bicycles. Nine, eight, seven. Bicycles on the floor in six, five, four, three, two. Come on down, wherever you are, you can take both legs into the sand, kick them up, strong core, notice where my hands are, good, if you're flat on the floor, it can be the same thing, you can come up to a seated position, or all the way flat, take your toes, let me balance on a chair, good, so these are going to grow as well, right into upper abs, no break, we don't need a break, right, sure, take your toes up to the ceiling, Begin touching your toes. It's a working recovery. It's an easier movement. You're using less, less, less of your core. That's why we can jump into harder movements after this. Touch up, touch up, touch up. Eight, seven, six. If you're seated, just reach out and alternate. Good. I just don't know if anyone will do that. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Can you hold them up? Lift your back, shoulders off the floor. Hold the leg up. Three, two, one. Switch leg. If you're seated, switch legs. Three, two, one. Grab your hand. Two, woo. Seated position. We're going into flutters and butterflies. Options. If you're seated in a chair, here's your levels. I'm going to downgrade them all. Flat back. Flat. Your back against the backrest. The back, your back flat against the backrest. Flutter your toes. And two, take your back off the backrest. Three, sit sideways so that you have no backrest and keep going as far as you can. Four is on the floor, sinking it down, cradling your spine. Now, if you're all the way down here, how you can downgrade this is this is easier, this is medium, this is the hardest. Three to six inches from the floor. Okay, let's begin. Welcome back, rain keeps falling, rain keeps falling, mm -hmm. down, 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 keep it going, kick them. Hit, 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 woo! Come on, 30 seconds, you got it. 10, 9, 8, uh, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, work your recovery. Dig your toes in the sand and kick up. Or take a break for eight, seven. I didn't say that. Six, we should all be right here in five, and four, and three, and two. And come on back, add those scissors, sink back, drop it low. Come on, man. Sit down really low. Again, remember, downgrade your way up here, medium, heavy, or if you're seated. Over, under. Can you see that? So there's, you see the difference over, under, keep those legs up real high, engage your core. We love the abs. Is that what you said? Sure, why not? Up, 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 up. 
seconds and then we'll switch into the other leg so what does that mean anyone do the math the 60 second plank 60 second plank let you know me i'll make it less to be nice yeah right good good keep going keep going keep going in eight seven switching in six five four Three, keep that plank, set it down, switch legs. Level one is stepping out. Level two is that in that circle. Now 30 seconds on the clock. If it's bothering your palms, because look how extended your wrists are. Come down to your elbows and to your forearms. Still holding that plank. You got me bumping it up. Don't you know bump it up? Keep it going. You're on that other leg, but we only have 10. Nine. Eight, seven, six, come on, plank. Five, four, three, two, woo! All right, turn that over. Either have a seat or go flat on your back. We're going into those chest presses, chest flies, and we're doing them quick. So let's bang them right out so we can finish some core. Everyone, this is your working recovery. 90 seconds with weights, and then we're gonna finish off with abs, and then we're done. If you're flat on your back, you're doing a chest press to the ceiling. If you're seated in the chair, chest press to the ceiling. It's actually an overhead extension to the ceiling. Just push both weights up. Good, everyone's doing the same movements. Those weights are going straight up to the ceiling. If you're flat on your back, it'll just look more like this. That's the difference. All right, and four, and three, and two, and two slides, palms are facing, Ooh, up and in. Ooh, up and in. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep it going, keep it going. Looking good, looking strong. Eight, seven, six, whoa, what is this? Five, keep going, last four. Three, whoo, two, and one from the side. Those overhead extensions, you look like this. If you're flat on the back, the same thing. If you're seated in a chair, the same thing. So just kept it simple. Whoo, last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, a couple options. If you're seated in a chair, you're turning over and doing a plank. If you're flat on the floor, you can either plank 
Or a grand finale, take one weight, two weights, up to you, start with toe touches, start coming down halfway for a B up, or all the way down, all the way up. This is the hardest level. Watch your back. I have the weight in my hand. Or you can do it without weights. Both hands, both legs. Remember, we already did half of this. We were already here. You can come back to that or add those V-ups. Add those V-ups. All right, let's move right through it. Let's move right through it. And this is it. Last 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Come on, keep going. And we have five and four. And three, and two, and one. All right, good job. Bring those knees into your chest. Just hold for a moment. Tell you what, if you're flat on the floor, let's all come to a seated position. If you're on your chair, same thing. Take one leg over, cross. Look towards the leg you just bent, twisting into your core and lower spine. You doing it right? Eh, I hope so. Three, two, and one. Sink them down. How about we switch? Other side. What a great way to start your day, right? Take them forward. And you walk down, whether you're flat and you're walking down the floor or maybe going down your legs, but you gotta touch something to stretch your back. Round up your spine, let your body just hang and meet your knees on the floor. Let's crank this up, take it up wider and make a V for hip help. Come on down. Again, you can hold your legs if you're in a chair or touch the floor and walk down. Three, two, Good, and one, pushing back up. Not bad, we're here. Hands on your knees, we're all gonna be standing from this point. Three, two, just checking your head, and one, follow me, do not stand all the way up. Good, hands on your knees, round up your spine, chin to chest, look down. Good, three, two, one, and up, two more. Last one, let's roll up one vertebrae at a time. Check your head, anyone lightheaded, anyone dizzy? Interlock your fingertips, bring them right up. You know, we should be finished with a bottle of water before class, and then now finishing our second bottle of the day is that. Switch sides and up, good. Come across, thumbs down, and hold, baby, baby, firm. Three, two, one, down, and switch. What if you felt lightheaded or dizzy in your home all by yourself right now? I wouldn't even know. Three, we have to be extra cautious and safe. That's form, that's hydration. Take your hands behind your back. That's being aware of your surroundings, that you don't step on any of your furniture or small animals. Push those shoulders down. Ooh. Let's do a couple more. Shake those arms right out. Watch me. Take one arm up. This is my right side, so I'm going to be saying that. Right side onto the left side of your ear. Right ear, right shoulder. Drop it down. So if it's opposite to you, either do the opposite or just listen to the words I'm saying. Three, two, down. Switch it. Other side. Left, right side of it. Opposite. Ears to shoulder. Push down. Bring them right in. Three. Two, one, look here, interlock your fingertips, tuck your glutes under, holding it for a center spine stretch. Now take a deep breath in, reach all the way up to the ceiling, let it out, come all the way down. Great job, everyone. I hope you did well. I hope you found some good form. I hope you learned something new. We focus a lot more on lunges and such today. I really do hope to see you all next week. Uh, that's it. Any questions, concerns, you can always do me like, thank you, you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much, Adam. Thank you. Have a good one. And I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. Have a great Thanks. day. Thanks Have for saying hello. <laughs> All right. Now, thank you. Thank you.